good afternoon. Uh, sorry I'm not at school today. As you can tell by my lovely voice, uh, I'm not feeling the greatest. So uh, bear with me. Uh, made a video lesson. Uh, sorry, you kind of have to listen to this as we go, though. So today uh, we are going to do the property of exponents, which actually is review. Uh, but sometimes exponents is kind of one of those topics like factoring where uh, we kind of forgot how to do some things and you know, it's going to take some practice to uh, remember. So make sure that we uh, complete our homework tonight and then come in with questions. So hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so listed in this box right here uh, is the all the properties of exponents that you guys need to know. So when you do a product of a power, so that means you are multiplying powers of the same base, you add the exponents. Okay, so a basic example would be as follows. So let's say you had x to the second times x to the third. So notice that the bases are the same, and when the bases are the same, you just add the exponents. So this is x to the fifth, and you guys have actually been doing this already in our units. Okay. Uh, another example would be if we did, uh, let's say, 2 to the fourth times 2 to the sixth. A common mistake here is that you guys multiply the bases together. You keep the base the same so this just becomes 2 to the 10th. Okay, so a big active note there is that you keep the bases the same. And you just add the exponents. Okay. In the next property, this is power to a power. So that's when you're taking, uh, you have a base, to an exponent and you're taking it to a another exponent. Okay. So for example, let's say you had x uh, x to the second to the fourth. So notice how you have one base being taken to a power and then you take that to an exponent that's going to be x to the 8th. You multiply the exponents. Okay, so a power to a power, you multiply. Uh, if it was a number, so let's say 3 to the... I did it again, sorry. 3 to the 2nd to the 5th. Okay. You just multiply the exponents. You leave the bases. Is, so this is 3 to the 10th. Alright, the next example uh, is the division. Okay, so for division, uh, you subtract the exponents. So, for example, if you had x to the fifth divided by x to the second, the bases are the same, so you subtract the exponents. So that's x to the third. Okay. A numerical example. So let's say you had 5 to the 15th over 5 uh, to the 9th. Okay. Once again, common theme here is that you leave the bases as is. So you're going to leave 5 the way it is, and then you're going to take 15 minus 9 and make this 5 to the 6th. So leave the bases as is. Okay, the next uh, property is pretty basic. It's just the zero property, and that's stating that anything to the zero power is always one. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's a variable, so like x to the zero is one, or if it's a number. Uh, it could be, you know, 3,521 to the zero power is still going to be one. Okay. And then the very last property uh, is a negative exponent property, so we never want to write our answer with negative exponents. So if it's in the numerator, 
we need to move it down to the denominator. Okay, and when you move it down, it becomes a positive exponent, and only the exponent changes sign. Okay, if it's a negative exponent in the denominator, then we move it up, and it becomes positive. Okay, so uh, a negative exponent just changes the location. It doesn't change if it's a positive or negative value. So, for example, let's say we had x to the negative second. So, we're going to move it over the line and change the sign. Okay. Now, let's say we had 4 to the negative third. That does not make a number negative. Negative exponents just change the location. So we move it over the line and change the sign of the exponent. So that becomes 1 over 4 to the third. So please, 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 negative exponents do not make numbers negative. Okay, it just changes the location. Okay. As we start going through the examples, if uh, for any reason you guys need to pause to catch up, uh, please do. And then just go ahead and hit play again. Okay, so we have 12 examples to get through. Let's see what we can do. All right, so when you guys are simplifying exponents, uh, we're actually going to start with number 4 first. Okay, so you want to, there's kind of a few rules when you're simplifying exponents. First is that um, each variable only appears once. Uh, the second rule is that uh, only positive exponents third rule uh, is that the parentheses are gone and the fourth rule is that the numbers are simplified so that would be, for example, two-fourths can simplify to one-half. Okay. So let's first start with uh, number four. Okay. So notice that we are multiplying powers of the same base. Okay. And you don't uh, see a number here, but that's implied that that's y to the first. So you add the exponents up together. So that's 3 plus 1 plus 4. This is going to be y to the eighth. Okay, you keep the base the same. In example 5, let's go to that one next. In 5... Notice that there's multiple things going on inside the parentheses. Uh, and when you see parentheses, there's two things you can do with division. You can either simplify it right away, or you can take everything on the inside to the power on the outside. Uh, now, I just like to go ahead just to keep things the same. Take everything on the inside to the power on the outside first, and then simplify from there. So, that means we have to take a to the third to the fourth. Okay, so when you take a power to a power, you multiply the exponent. So this is a to the 12th. Then you have to take 2 to the 4th, which is in the denominator. And then you have to take b to the 5th to the 4th. So when you take a power to a power, you multiply the exponent. This is b to the 20th. So this simplifies to a to the 12th over 16 b to the 20th. Okay. Make sure that you guys take everything on the inside to the power on the outside. That includes the denominators, okay? And that includes the numerical value in the denominator. So in this example, the 2. Okay. All right, let's go up to, back up to example 1. Okay. So notice that we have some parentheses here. 
Okay, so let's take care of those. We want to take everything on the inside to the power on the outside. So that means we have to take 3 to the second, which is 9, not 6. And then we also have to take uh, p to the fifth to the second. So when you take a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. Okay, I'm not sure why uh, it stopped recording at one point. So just to walk through that one again, um, after you take everything on the inside to the power on the outside, you're going to multiply uh, the numbers together. Okay, we do not add them. You multiply the coefficients. Uh, a common mistake that we make is we add them because the property when you multiply powers within base is to add the exponents, but that does not apply to the coefficients. So you're going to do 4 times 9 is 36, and then add the exponents, and that gives you 12. So key thing here is make sure you multiply the coefficients. All right, let's go to example number 2. Okay. So there's two ways you guys can approach this. Um, some of your teachers might have said, if you see uh, a fraction being taken to a negative exponent, then just go ahead and flip everything on the inside uh, and then make the exponent on the outside positive. Uh, just be careful that if there's anything negative on the inside that you leave it the way it is. Okay, so then this is going to be 8 to the 2nd over 5 to the 2nd, so 64 over 25. Okay, or we can take everything on the inside to the power on the outside. Okay, and um, remember that a negative exponent does not make another number negative, it just changes the location. So... Move it over the line and change the sign. So we get 64 over 25. Notice that they're the exact same answers. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number three. Uh, notice that the uh, negative is on the outside of the parentheses. Okay, so when the negative's on the outside of the parentheses, it stays there. So you're going to take everything on the inside to the power on the outside. So this is negative. Uh, 3 to the 4th, and then x to the 4th. So that gives you negative uh, 81 x to the 4th. Okay. Uh, if that negative when it would have been on the inside, so for example, negative 3x, all of it being taken to the 4th, then you would use what we've already learned, the fact that a negative to an even power is positive. So this is negative 3 to the 4th, x to the 4th, and that gives you 81, x to the 4th. So when you're taking something to an even power, the negative has to be on the inside of the parentheses in order for it to be positive. Okay, I'll say that again. Uh, when you are dealing with even exponents, the negative has to be on the inside in order for it to be positive. Otherwise, it stays a negative. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and go to number six. Okay. So everything on the inside goes to the power on the outside. Make sure that you... Um, write each step out. So we have a tendency to try to shortcut steps. And for example, we'll go, oh, four to the negative third, that's negative 64. Well, remember that a negative exponent does not make a number negative. Okay, so write each step out. So we have four to the negative third, x to the 12th, y to the negative sixth. Okay. So we got to look at our rules. Each variable only appears once. I don't need to multiply or divide any coefficients, but I do have negative exponents, so I need to fix this. So anything that has a negative exponent moves over the line, and you change the sign. So x to the 12th over 64y to the 6th. 
Remember that a negative exponent does not make a number negative. I know I've said that a bazillion times already. So please make sure you make note of that. Okay. All right, let's take a look at number seven. So in number seven, the only thing that would be considered the base in this example is x. Okay. Remember that the base is what's uh, being taken to the power. The negative 2 is not being taken to the negative 5th. Whereas in number 10, you can see that uh, all of 2b is being taken to the fifth, negative 5th because it's inside the parentheses. Okay? But in example 7, only x to the negative 5th. So the negative 2 stays where it is. And you write x, over, uh, x to the 5th. So also make note that a negative number does not move locations, only a negative exponent. Okay, I'll say that one more time. Only a negative exponent changes locations, not a negative number. All right, let's go ahead and then just right along, let's go with 10 then. So, uh, some of you might have been taught to just go ahead and put this over uh, 1 because it's being taken to a negative exponent. Uh, I prefer to do everything on the inside to the power on the outside just to keep it uniformed. Okay. And then anything with a negative exponent needs to change the location. So 1 over 2 to the 5th, b to the 5th. So that's 1 over 32 b to the fifth. Okay. So make sure that um, a negative exponent changes location, but it does not make a number negative. And make sure you guys are writing out each step. All right, let's take a look at number eight. Uh, so just if you had, uh, let's say, x to the negative six times x to the third, you would just add the exponents and leave the x's the same. So the same applies for numerical values. Please, 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 please do not multiply the actual bases. You want to keep the base the same and just add the exponents. Okay, but remember that we don't want negative exponents. So you move it over the line and change the sign. So this comes out to be 1 over 64. Okay, so once again, please make sure that you do not multiply the bases together. You keep the bases the same. All right, we've got three problems left. Let's take a look at number 11 because this is a pretty quick problem. Anything to the zero power is always going to be one. Okay, so even, but the negative's on the inside, so that's going to be zero. Let's say you had negative 12 to the 0. So notice that the negative is on the outside of the parentheses. So you would do exponents first, 12 to the 0 is 1, and then multiply by the negative front, and that gives you negative 1. All right, let's finish up with the last two problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with... Sorry about that. All right, sorry again. Uh, that was Chief barking. He was saying hello. Uh, all right, so let's finish up with 9 and 12. So for number 9, uh, I always like to multiply straight across and then take care of simplifying. So we have 3 times 6, which is 18. And then we just have a 2 in the denominator. And then we have x to the second, x to the third. So you add those, that's x to the fifth. And you have x to the fifth in the denominator. Then you have y to the third in the numerator. And then y and y to the fifth, which is y to the sixth. Okay. So I like to take one step at a time. So I'm going to simplify the coefficients first. Remember that you are actually dividing the coefficients, not subtracting them. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. 
then x to the fifth over x to the fifth, that's x to the zero, which some of you might just know that cancels, which is fine. And then y to the third over y to the sixth is y to the negative third. Okay, so once we get here, let's clean things up. So x to the zero is just one, and nine times one is just nine. And then we can't leave a negative exponent, so that becomes nine over y to the third. Okay, uh, if it helps to break this up in different colors, go right ahead. Okay, and then the last example is number 12. Okay, so if you were taught this way, I'm going to do this over on the side, but if you were taught this way where when you have a negative exponent on the outside, you just go ahead and flip. If you do that, make sure that you keep everything on the inside the same. So the only thing you're doing is just flipping top and bottom and then making the uh, exponent on the outside positive. Okay. The way that I uh, like to do it is simplify on the inside first if I can. So 4 over 2 is 2. So I have 2 x to the second, y to the negative first to the negative third. And then everything on the inside to the power on the outside. So 2 to the negative third, x to the negative sixth, and y to the third. Okay. Anything with a negative exponent uh, needs to move location. Remember that a negative exponent does not make a number negative. So this becomes y to the third in the numerator. And then in the denominator, you have 2 to the 3rd, x to the 6th. Simplify that and get y to the 3rd over 8x to the 6th. Okay, doesn't matter how you approach this. If you do the first way or the second way, you should get the same answer. Um, just make sure that negative exponents, you need to move them over the line and change the sign. And a negative exponent does not make an actual number negative. Okay. Throughout the lesson, I pointed out a common mistake that students make, so hopefully you guys took note of that. Uh, today's homework is worksheet two. You guys can work together or work by yourself. Uh, no music, though, today because I want you guys to help each other out, especially since I'm not there. Uh, and then if you guys please, 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 please uh, circle any problems that you guys have, and we will go over them tomorrow. We need to make sure that we understand properties of exponents before we can move on to uh, rational exponents. Okay, so let's make sure we're solid on this material first. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, come in the morning. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.